We begin remembering fallen FDNY firefighter Timothy Klein, who was killed while battling a fire in Brooklyn Sunday afternoon. Right now, Chopper 2 is over a procession escorting his body to the Rockaways where the 31 year old lived. Earlier today, fellow firefighters honored Klein outside his Canarsie firehouse hanging the black and purple bunting no firefighter ever wants to see. We do have live team coverage tonight. Andrea Klein-Thomas has the latest on the investigation into that fire. But we begin with CBS 2's Kevin Rincon live at the firehouse with more on today's tribute. Kevin. Dick and Alice, as mentioned, uh, this firehouse, the men and women here, they have suffered loss before, and it hurts all the same. As that bunting was being draped on the windows, you could see the heartbreak on so many faces as they came here to remember Timothy Klein. It's a shot to the gut. The men and women of Engine 257 Ladder 170 were joined by firefighters from all over New York as they paid tribute to fallen hero Timothy Klein. Ceremonial purple and black bunting now adorns the firehouse as a reminder of the ultimate sacrifice made by the 31 year old six year veteran. I was a big part of this house. Uh, guys gravitated to him, and uh, we're going to miss him. Family were greeted by FDNY leadership inside. Klein's father is a retired FDNY firefighter. Others in the family have also served, including Klein's cousin, who's currently a firefighter at Ladder 174, also in Brooklyn. It's quite a loss um, inside and outside of the firehouse. I think if you look at all the faces behind me, you can tell what a major loss Timmy is to Canarsie's bravest. As a firefighter himself, he says they all understand the risks associated with the job, but says this tragedy was beyond anyone's control. We didn't lose him to a lack of training or preparedness or fitness. Timmy was top notch. Sometimes you just lose members to the circumstance of the operation. He just didn't make it home yesterday. Klein was beloved not only here, but back home in Queens. He grew up in Rockaway Beach, attended Malloy High School in Briarwood. His three sisters all graduated from there. The principal at Malloy told me the Klein family is what we aspire to be. Great people full of faith. And we've seen candles and flowers dropped off here at the firehouse. We do expect to see other tributes as not just this community mourns the loss of Timothy Klein, but many throughout the entire city. We're live in Canarsie, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News. All right, Kevin, thank you.